yogis. Today we're talking about simple tips, just very simple tips on how to do a back bend. So I have Danielle here and she's been kind enough to do a demonstration of a back bend. And so we're going to set up her feet and her arms in the correct position. First thing I want to look at is the feet. You don't want them actually angled out to the side because that will over access like your butt area, it'll engage it too much. So we want your feet parallel to the sides of your mat. And then we want the inside of your heel to the outside of your sit bone. So that's first base, looking at the feet. Second base is we're going to put our hands back here, so hands back. You want your index finger base to be as wide as your AC joint, this little bony protrusion here. So she's pretty good. And then the first step is we want to come up to the top of the head. So come on up. From right here, this is pretty standard procedure that you bring the elbows in. Um, for her, I'm going to actually walk in her hands just a little bit. Elbows come in, and then in order to access the side body, which I'm all about the side body because I want the big muscles to do the work of this stuff, we're going to take the humerus bone and push it into its socket. So just a slight push in, and then she can come up. So come on up. And so immediately what you can see is that she's like a little bit more engaged here instead of just using deltoids, neck, trapezius, all of those muscles, which aren't, aren't used to be um, bearing a huge amount of weight. So, yogis, elbows in, uh, humerus into shoulder socket, make sure your feet are wide. Thanks for tuning in. Clean it up.